Hello everyone, I am Johnson. Today, let's learn how to create a search bar navigation. Search bar navigation is a type of navigation that incorporates a search bar as a central element for users to search for specific content or information. The main features of search bar navigation are as follows. Central search element, the search bar is prominently placed in the navigation area, making it easily accessible for users to perform searches. Input field for search queries, users can enter keywords or phrases related to the content they are looking for in the search input field. Search button or icon, users can click on the search button or icon to initiate the search and retrieve relevant search results. Contextual relevance, the search results are tailored to the specific website or application, providing users with relevant content based on their search queries. Enhanced discoverability, search bar navigation allows users to quickly find specific content or information without the need to navigate through multiple pages or menus. Next, let's create the prototype. First, create the title bar by dragging a rectangle and entering products and articles. Hide the border and name the title bar as title bar. Next, create the search bar by dragging a rectangle and a text field. Customize the style of the text field and enter search products and articles. Then, drag a search icon and adjust its fill color to gray. Cut the text and set it as the hint text. Create all the elements of the search bar as a dynamic panel and name it search bar. Next, duplicate a new state. Drag a link button and enter cancel. Then, create the search results section. Drag a heading and change the text to products as the title. Then, drag a rectangle, an image widget, and a label to create an item. Import the image. Group them together. Duplicate more items and import different images and modify the text of the items. Duplicate the title and change the text to articles. Then, duplicate the rectangle of the item. Enter the text for Article 1 title. Duplicate more items and change their text. Next, drag a link button. We need to add a View All button to the search results. If users want to see more content due to limited space, they can click it to display all items of this type. Adjust the visibility of the border for the article items below. Next, let's create interactions. Go back to state one. Add a got focus interaction to the search box. Set the dynamic panel state to state 2. Hide the title bar.
Move the y-axis coordinate of the search bar to zero. Add a 200 milliseconds animation. Focus the search box in dynamic panel state 2. Copy the interaction. Switch to state 2. Select the cancel button. Paste the interaction. Change to show the title bar. Move the y-axis coordinate of the search bar to 60. Set the search dynamic panel state to state 1. Delete the got focus interaction. Then, copy the interaction. Delete the interaction. Paste it to the click or tap event. Then, set the text of the search box to empty. Create all the elements of the search results as a dynamic panel. Name it content. Add a text changed interaction to the search box. Here, we need to add a condition. The content of the search results will appear if the search box's text length is greater than zero. Show the content dynamic panel. Add an else if condition. Hide the content dynamic panel. Set the content dynamic panel to hidden. There is an error in the condition setting here. It should be is greater than instead of is less than. Preview the prototype. When the search box is focused, it moves up and the title bar is hidden. When text is entered, the search results are displayed. When the cancel button is clicked, the title bar is shown and the search bar moves down. That's what we will learn in this lesson. Of course, when clicking on a search result, it will open a new page. The method of creating it can be achieved by linking to a new page by an inline frame. You can refer to previous lessons for that. We won't go into detail here. If you like my video, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel.